Thank you all so much for joining us today. We are going to be talking about traditional safe sleep using a cradle board. I'm so excited to have an expert with us and I will let her introduce herself to you. So Hest Hal Hal, good day everybody. I'm Celisha Oldbowl. I am from Arley, Montana. I am Salish and Crow. Um, I was raised with my mother who is Salish. And so I live on the Flathead Indian Reservation. Um, in another world, I'm a student success coordinator at the University of Montana. And I take classes on the side, trying to pick up a few pieces of education here and there. And um, in terms of being an expert, um, I would say I'm a, a cultural practitioner. Um, I know some things and I'm just uh, glad to be able to share them with you today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule. I know you're a mom as well. And so that is really demanding. And so I just want to say thank you so much um, personally, as well as on behalf of Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies and the state of Montana DPHHS department, um, as we really appreciate you taking time out of your day to speak with us. So with that, I'll go ahead and jump into some of the questions that we've gotten. And the first one is pretty simple. What is a cradle board? So a cradle board is a piece of wood and it's adorned with an animal hide or um, modern days, a lot of people will use cloth and it has a, um, it has a, a, por a piece of it where you can um, swaddle a baby onto the board and um, it's a only word I can think of. It's a, it's a traditional tool that um, tribal peoples use throughout Indian country, and they're they vary um, quite uh, have a large diversity in the style of these boards. But a cradle board is as a tool to help swaddle the baby. Great, thank you. So. Um how does it help keep baby safe? Because we recognize that this is a safe traditional sleep pattern, but how does it do that? How does it keep baby safe? Um, well, the way that I was taught is um, the board is um, really good for posture. Um, it's, you know, the babies are, or bones are really fragile. So it promotes um, really good posture. Um, in some cases, it'll promote um, a straight gait. Um, when the, so when the baby gets older, it won't be like feet will sticking out or sticking in like that. They'll have a straight gait. A lot of people don't use them anymore, but the ones that do it, um, because it's on a piece of wood, like this is one of um, the boards that I made, but it um, the board can prop. So you would prop it like at an angle mm -hmm. and um, it's meant to prop so that you can walk away and and the baby will be intact um, and protected because um, uh, this part up here, this is a Salish board and um, let's see, I need to take this part off. My husband, we had these stored because my kids are kind of old now. It's beautiful. Um, that is absolutely beautiful. So this part right here um, is uh, how the baby is put in there. And um, uh, most of the time, they're partially swaddled before they're set in and then they're laced into there. It's looser at the bottom here. So their feet have room to be up or whatever. And um, there's room on the side that arms would be, you know, flush mm -hmm. with their body. Mm -hmm. you would never put them like this. And um, it's, it just uh, protects them. It's a swaddling. It's a, it's a very secure swaddling. Never really like hold it up like that because mm -hmm. of their legs and their, their, their little guts. But um, kind of always meant to be like, it's like a traveling, uh, bassinet or like a traveling um, 
crib or yeah well this part up here it protects the head and some boards um not this board but i think it's more dependent on like family or tribe some some people will put this stick that goes around right here kind of up and um so if ever the board were to accidentally like go fall in that way for some reason with nobody was like around the board, um, that stick is supposed to catch before the baby hits. So they wouldn't hit, they would hit the stick and not the baby. So nice. that's the, the safety parts. <laughs> no, that's great. That's, that's really helpful. And it looks like it's really sturdy. So it keeps baby from rolling over or anything like that. So that's great as well. Um, so you talked a little bit about how you properly use when you talked about how the feet need to be a little bit looser. Um, what other things um, should people know about how they properly use a cradle board? I guess it's, it's like any tool that um, is helpful to a parent or a a caretaker or a mother um one of the basic ones for me that I found super useful was um I breastfed and so instead of um jarring the baby around after I got done breastfeeding sometimes if I knew I was gonna like just have to go or have to get up and do something I would put the baby in the board and then um breastfeed from here and then the baby can go to sleep um, in the board another it's it's really good for them to be sleeping in it um babies are like uh puppies so they jerk around and even when they're awake you know they kind of they have this little tendency to kind of like throw their head or whatever and so if you um, secure them, either when they're sleeping or even when they are awake, a lot of times, well, babies, they don't really like to be like tied down when they're awake. I mean, some of them, they'll be used to it because they um, like that feeling of security, but it um, helps with their demeanor. So um, the proper way I think would be while the baby was sleeping or if you were trying to calm the baby down sometimes and uh, only if they were like really used to the board, I think it would be a good tool to like wrap them up. They like that. They like that feeling, that, that snug feeling even when they're awake. And um, like the bottom of um, this board, and I think a lot of boards, it has an extension, like the wood comes down right here. Mm -hmm. So if I have the board um, like propped on one knee and I have to hold it high because I got the computer kind of high, but I can use that um, board like a rocking. So oh, yeah. if I'm trying to um, soothe the baby and I wanted to do a little bit of rocking, that works. Um, I we prop it, that's a proper way. It can be propped either up against and you would prop it kind of just kind of like, like this, but not too far up to protect their body. And um, I don't ever really recall like laying the baby flat. I wouldn't really ever lay the baby like flat, flat or like upside down. Like I would always kind of have it like <laughs> any, any angle like this. And it usually works pretty well. And um, also just being aware of um, how many layers you have around the baby because they get hot just mm -hmm. like we get hot. So like the only thing that I usually put around them because they already have clothes on and especially in the summertime, um, I'll just put one very small receiving blanket to hold their arms. I wrap it around their, um, their arms to hold their arms down from like coming up like that. Um, I wouldn't put like a whole bunch of layers around the baby because then they just get overheated and then that's not good either. But this hide, you know, cause it's an animal hide. Well, this hide is deer hide, um, provides a lot of insulation for them. And even in the summer, it's, it's also a good um, thickness. So. So once the baby's in the cradle board, 
wh where do you go? So if you're using it to sleep, um, do you, you lay it next to you? Do you, you prop it on a pillow? How would you use it for safe sleep? I would um, put it on something secure at nighttime. If there's like two of us, like if we're sitting in a crowded space, like the board will fit across two of us and I just lay it, lay the board like that. Or if we're doing something, I find a good secure, um, like either a corner or a wall or like a, like a couch or floor surface type of thing where it will grip. Um, where I know it's not going to like fall down mm -hmm. and I pop it up. Sometime I'll put a pillow underneath um, and just set it like on the bed or on the floor or something. But where it's not going to fall, I put it where it's going to be. I know it's not going to fall. I don't set it on something unsecure. Um, those are great. Great points. Well, yeah, I don't know. No, those are great. That's perfect. You're doing wonderful. Thank you again.